lanes. And there is the uh, outstanding favourite, Luguelin Santos. The 18-year-old man from the Dominican Republic is world number one, 45.98 in his semi-final. And uh, young man who this year has run 44.45, when the next best junior in the world hasn't uh, broken 45.1. He's uh, more than half a second better than the opposition. The lineup from the inside, Kishoyan of Kenya goes in lane one. Fastest uh, loser through to this final. Uglov of Russia, likewise a fastest loser in lane two. Moresa of Kenya in lane three, the second Kenyan. Hall of the USA in four. Aldrich Bailey, the fastest in the semi-finals of the USA. Watch him in five. Inside Santos in six. Francis of Jamaica seven. Stephen Solomon of Australia in lane eight. And Chidenio of Trinidad in lane nine there in the red closest to the camera but Santos in lane six and away uh, without any trouble the Americans off uh, very quickly particularly the man in the white socks that's uh, Armand Hall in lane four just inside his uh, compatriot uh, Aldrich Bailey but uh, Santos is going well. He's already up on Francis of Jamaica in lane seven. And past him too at 200 metres. And he's not holding back at all. Here is Laguelin Santos. He's absolutely going flat out round to the crown of the bend. He knows the two Americans have got him in their sights. They're chasing hard. And the best of them at the moment, Armin Hall in lane four round the crown of the bend, is beginning to challenge Laguelin Santos. Now this is where the strength and maturity of the young man from the Dominican Republic tells. Coming through the Australian in lane eight. is going to take a medal or is it? Mighty tight. Santos takes it in second place. Armin Hall for the USA in four. And I think uh, Solomon, Stephen Solomon, got through for the bronze there from lane eight for Australia. But doesn't he recover quickly? Look well in Santos. He doesn't look particularly tired to me. <laughs> yeah, we can read that. And what a proud young man he is. Look well in Santos. The winning time, 44.85. Well, the world junior record is almost a second quicker than that by Steve Lewis back in 1988. But... Uh, by uh, Llewellyn Santos there. He's not too far off, Martin. A couple of tenths away from the championship record by uh, Albishi of Saudi Arabia back in uh, 2000. He's quite aware, this fellow, isn't he? Peck of the badge. Thanks the country. Takes notice of his uh, commercial uh, commitments. And look at that. He can barely blow out a candle with uh, the energy. Is Here's that run from the... Uh, winner of the 400 metres, a convincing win too, but uh, running through to a personal best is uh, Armin Hall of the USA, and just managing to split the Americans is the Australian Solomon, they have mighty close call on the uh, in fact they've given this bronze to Bailey, I thought Solomon got it 45-52, 45-52 exactly the same time I should think the Australian would be wanting to see the photo finish there, but a personal best for Stephen Solomon is the consolation they've been given the bronze to Together. They've been given the bronze together. They can't split them down to the thousandth of a second. So Aldrich Bailey of the USA and Stephen Solomon of Australia are the bronze medalists. But no doubting the gold. Goodness me, Santos doing all that was required. And you're right, Martin. Yep. Smart young man. Maybe that's what comes when you've been on the Diamond League circuit and uh, mixed it with the big boys. Confirmation of that win, Llewellyn Santos for the Dominican Republic taking their first gold of the week. 44.85, well clear of Armin Hall and Aldrich Bailey with uh, Solomon sharing that bronze, as I said. Personal best 